I don't go somewhere to search, because if you search things, you don't find them. So I go mostly and then I get surprised of what I find there. Oh, that's a good one. I have things in my mind, but I never would say I need this certain kind of chair or that kind of chair or something. Then I would really be too focused on something and not to be open on other things, what I see or what I really like. I found something from the 60s to lose weight and these things with the belt you put on around your hip and then it, it starts to shake you. Hmm, it's kind of nice. I mean, it was not my plan to find it, but now I picked it up and I We'll see what I, I can do with it. I'm always very open to what happens to me, like by coincidence. In German there's a word, it's called Zufall, what means it comes to you, you don't plan it. And that's really, uh, it just, yeah, it describes it quite well. When I began to study art, I was really into performance art from the 70s. But I never want to be kind of a performance artist because then it's really hard to tell, is it you as an artist or is, is the work interesting? I made uh, one self-portrait which was called carry as much as you can at once. So I tried to carry as much as I can and then I put something on my head and so there was a way not showing my face and using my body somehow for the art. The play is a big part of it, because when you play, you find new things. That's how I found really important aspects in my work. I would say it took me six weeks to install the piece. I start and then I change. And I see what's happening and then I react on this what's happening. It takes more time but it's more interesting and it's more individual for me. Great on. I do collect objects or work with objects, used objects, found objects, since I'm studying, like, so I began 15, 16 years ago to work with that kind of material. And I still like the idea that you can really get the stuff, keep it cheaper and make art. I just like that idea and uh, change the meaning of objects, change the value of it. I did have a, an older camera with a 10 second self timer. It made me make a, a movie about it, about this posing and then not finding the right position. So I made a movie about a king who's failing completely with his positions. I mean, it's also kind of a persiflage on old master paintings and they have really like a high reputation and then kind of authority as well. So I really like us to play with these authorities in art. I think the whole situation that you have this huge window, it's like already the whole thing is on stage. It's not like open a door and then you come in. So you see all of a sudden this big space already when you come around the corner. I got once a crate back from Mexico from an exhibition, a really big one. I just had the idea that you can move into this crate and you can discover uh, spaces what you don't see at all. It makes you feel you're in a completely different location all of a sudden. So you have a, an experience not just by your eyes, it's a full body experience somehow, so you have to walk through, you have to move, and some people feel like kids again. So it's very playful. 
it's also fun. I mean, I like humor in my work and I have to do this uh, more than, I don't know, 30, 40 years or something. So I have to entertain myself somehow. Mm -hmm.